Hello everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I'm so, so excited to show you these cards today. I had so much fun making these. I started with this vision and I kind of just ran with it. I ended up making seven cards. I'm going to show you the elements of how I made them, but actually only show the actual making of three of the cards to save some time. Um, but I hope you enjoy seeing how I made these rainbow cards. I think they're fun and I can't wait to send them out to some special friends and family. So to get started, I have this waffle flower horizontal stripes die and I love this die set. I've been learning all the different things I can do with it and you basically can cut all of these strips. See, so I made a bunch of backgrounds before I actually filmed this video. I kind of just started going crazy. You ever get in that haze and you just kind of start doing things and next thing you know you're like, oh, that kind of just happened. So I have all these leftover stripes and I'm going to show you how I made all the different striped backgrounds. Um, also, I have the stamp set from the Stamps of Life. So it has the sentiment, live a colorful life. Um, and that's really what inspired me. I've been seeing rainbow cards everywhere and I just I was like I want to use that sentiment on a rainbow card. Um I did I had all of this cardstock I had bought at Joanne's. It was on sale and I had all these different rainbow colors and I thought okay I bought these so I could do something rainbow and it's happening. So it's all this basil basics paper. And so you see these are all of the different backgrounds that I Made. I made five different backgrounds, and I'm going to show you uh, so how I made them. I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to make a, a small card, uh, like an A2 size, I mean. So I make A7 and A2. This is a piece of cardstock that's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And so I've just separated all of my stripes by color. Doesn't that look pretty? I love that. <laughs> and I'm literally just going to use my tape runner and I'm going to glue these at an angle or I guess tape these at an angle onto this background. I'm going to make the background using it onto the cardstock. And you'll see underneath me too, I have this mat that goes with my Tonic Studios um, like media platform or I forget what this is called exactly, it's media. I like this because the glue doesn't stick to it, you can just rub it right off. And so I'm just going and I'm just um, adding, I'm going to cut it down when it gets kind of overlapping. I like to cut off the extras and I am saving those extra bits. Don't think I'm throwing those away. The extra bits I'm saving because I can use them in corners. Some of the smaller ones, yeah, but the other ones I'm saving. And I just keep on doing that until I have kind of a nice rainbow effect. I love that. I'm so in love with that panel. Um, I'm so in love with that panel. And then I'm, I decided to try using glue. Mm, the liquid glue kind of worked, but I, I wish I had stuck with the, the the tape liner. I'm just going to use the stripes. And you see that white space on the left? I'm just going to glue more um, of the stripes. And I just keep on gluing them in order until I get rainbow. All right. I'm not going to use more time because this is a long video, so I just want to show you all the backgrounds I made, and I'm saving all those extra stripes. Don't worry, they're going to go in that little sleeve for later. But I did uh, some pastels, I did some bowls, and then that one on top, I kind of did a funky, I don't know, deconstructed rainbow? <laughs> you see I have some gaps on one of them. I plan on covering those up later. I will show you how. So now I have to figure out what am I going to do for the background. So I grabbed this felt that I had left over from the project and I have this glitter foam from um, Queen & Company and it's self-adhesive. I love this stuff because you just peel the back off. And I have these cloud um, dies and I was like, okay, what can I do? So I'm going to cut cloud dies from the foam um, and those pop out really easy. I can cut a ton of those. I'm also going to cut cloud dies from the felt because I don't know that just I don't know when I think clouds I think white I think fluffy I think felt anybody else with me so I'm gonna cut that from the the felt because you can use regular foam too but I thought the glitter foam just gave it a nice touch um and then I'm gonna use this heart die that I have um 
It's pretty stiff. And so here's the thing. I had a lot of time that night, and I thought, huh, I really want to stitch on these different um, felt pieces, not the foam, but the felt pieces. So I grabbed some black thread, and the thing is, is I started stitching, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do an outline stitch all the way around. <laughs> but what ended up happening is I went a little crazy, and I ended up stitching everything. Um, and I started using different colors of thread, too. You'll see I use gold, and I use silver. But yeah, I'm just taking just a needle and thread, literally just like sewing thread. And I'm just going all the way around, just kind of like a dotted line. I am not a great sewer. I really suck at it, and it's crooked. It kind of looks like a kid did it, and that's okay because it just makes it look crafty looking. <laughs> Anyhow, I spent time that evening um, and the next morning doing all of this sewing. This you do not have to do. I just want, thought it was an extra touch. I like stitching on felt. And I thought it would be a fun touch. So see, I stitched on the hearts with gold and silver. I stitched gold in some of the clouds. I got it all assembled. And so it took it took a little extra time. It took, probably took longer because I was watching TV. I kept on stopping <laughs> to watch my movie. Anyhow, um, now I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do with all of these. I have these beautiful felt pieces. I love felt. And also, I wanted to make little puffy clouds, but I had no stuffing to stitch them together, so that's why they're one dimensional. I really want it puffy clouds, and maybe in another video you can do puffy clouds. But anyhow, the stitching, it's all done. So now my thing is, I need to figure out how am I going to piece this all together. And because I had seven panels, I wanted to lay everything out and figure it out. And then I took a photo of it so I just wouldn't forget. And I kind of just stacked everything in order. So then I was like, oh, I need sentiments. And you know what I did? I went and grabbed a bunch of stamps that I like and I just started lining up all of the stamps it's kinda of hard to see on the side there but I lined them all up and I was like okay I'm just gonna match the sentiments I'm gonna I match the clouds and hearts to their backgrounds and um you know I'm just gonna kinda of see where it leads me so yeah I didn't use the live a color for life I used this other sentiment that says you make the rainy days better I think that's what that says you know what? I need to look at it again. <laughs> but I, I love that. I used it on another card. Oh, yeah, you, sorry. You make the rainy days brighter. Whoa, I can't read. But I wanted to add a little touch of sparkle. I have this solid gold, but then I got the glitter gold, and it just, um, I love glitter. I have a problem, but I, 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 I do love glitter. And so this particular card, I love the pastel background. And so you're like, how do I adhere felt? Well, there's felt glue. I didn't know if it was going to seep through. So, what did I do? I used foam tape. Um, yeah, I wanted to make sure I could offset the clouds a bit. So, I made sure to put the background onto my card base. The beautiful lavender card base from Cards and Pockets. I wanted to make sure to adhere it before I put the clouds on. So, I went ahead. And I'm going to adhere those with this. It's a uh, foam tape, but it's quarter inch. I love this stuff because it's super thin. And you can't really see it. And I don't know. It just it just makes me happy. And then I wanted to put some jewels. Originally, I actually had some jewels off to the side. But then I was like, I'm going to put them so it looks like it's kind of raining pearls and jewels. These are from Lucy's Cards. Um, right now, she is only shipping in the UK if you're in the UK. So if you're in America... I'm sorry, I don't think you can order. You could check. Um, but yeah, I love her jewels. Some of the only jewels I actually have. <laughs> I'm jewel poor. <laughs> so um, I'm going to move on. So the next card, um, this is one of the bolder backgrounds I did. And I wanted to figure out how to get that little colorful life on there. And I don't remember who I watched doing a video recently. Another from Crafter and... They had a black background, and I loved it. I think I've seen it different times. Anyhow, I heat embossed um, that sentiment on a piece of black cardstock that I cut out with a circle. I just made sure that the sentiment fit. I was just sizing it up. You can see it's a little, little colorful light. And I like that, because that way it puts the emphasis on the background. 
Um, you saw me wiping that off there. I noticed when I emboss with anything on black, it always looks kind of dusty and dirty after. I just take my little microfiber cloth and I rub it down, and it actually goes pretty well. And I like that sentiment and that look, so I just made two of them. So I'm putting the, the heart that is stitched, you know, there. You can also offset the heart and cut off part of it back to work. And then just with liquid glue, I'm just adhering the sentiment. And then I put my little stamp block on top. Actually, I put two so that it would set. And I'm just going to kind of let that, um, I was going to say heal. <laughs> I'm going to let it dry. And I took my Nouveau Shimmer Pen and I just kind of wanted to shimmer it up a bit so when you look close you see it. You know, it's a little colorful life. And I put some more Lucy's Jewels there um, on the background. He's black. I thought that was a nice little pop. Now for the other card, because I have two hearts, I decided to make a smaller A2 size card. That card before was 5 by 7 This one's a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And I kind of offset the heart. And this one's my favorite. I just love this background. Oh my gosh. Alright, so next card, um, fourth card. Oh, right, I had to hit three. It's actually four. This one, I have this awesome sentiment from a, a Concord and Nine stamp set. It says Happy Thoughts. And I really love it because it's big and it just, I don't know, it makes me feel warm inside. And I'm embossing that in gold on some vellum. And yeah, I sped it up. I don't want to bore you now. But, okay, do you see these? glitter foam clouds. It's like the stuff my life is made out of. Alright, and I wanted to show, just slow the video down and show this here. My dot liner ran out. And I want you to see, it's easy. You pop out the old cartridge. I don't know if anyone's, if you haven't done this, this is how you do it. And you literally just take the new cartridge, you pop it in, and then whew, good to go, right? Put it in your holster. Whip it out. So, I just want everybody to see how easy that is. So I added more jewels to this one. Um, and then let me show you all of the cards that I made. That one on top is, I think, my favorite. I kind of just want to keep that one for myself. Do you ever have that? You just want to stare at a card forever. Uh, this one I add a little gold um, glitter paper to. Kind of get this into the sideways. There goes the Happy Thoughts one that I showed before. With the, those glitter foam clouds, man. This one has the stitched clouds. With the little pearls raining down. And I stitched gold. This one I did not show the video for, but I, I did the Happy Thoughts in silver. And I did little hearts in the background. I thought this would be a fun birthday card to give to someone. And then the other little colorful life. Um... Yeah, and then this is, these are just all the cards. I just love rainbows in color. And I had so much fun just making these. It took a long time kind of just going through it. But, you know, I, I think I had to get time. And if you get a chance to do some stitching on felt, um, please do. Stiff felt works better. Um, I had that felt left over from the project. But you can usually find it on Etsy. Um, we're online somewhere. But yeah, I just love those cards. So I thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you got something out of watching this, at least a little bit of joy out of seeing all the colors. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, please make sure to follow me and check out my Instagram page, April underscore notes. And I hope everyone has a wonderful and colorful um, week staying at home. All right, bye.